BRIF, Wikipedia article audio. 1UWH, 1UWJ, 2FB8, 2L05, 3C4C, 3D4Q, 3IDP, 3II5, 3NY5, 3OG7, 3PPJ, 3PPK, 3PRF, 3PRI, 3PSB, 3PSD, 3Q4C, 3Q96, 3SKC, 3TV4, 3TV6, 4DBN, 4E26, 4E4X, 4EHE, 4EHG, 4FC0, 4FK3, 4G9C, 4G9R, 4H58, 4JVG, 4KSP, 4KSQ, 4MBJ, 4MNE, 4MNF, 4PP7, 4W05, 5C9C, 5CT7, 4XV2, 4XV1, 4XV9, 4XV3, 4R5Y, 5CSW, 5CSX, 4YHT, 5J2R, 5FD2, 5HIE, 5HID, 5HI2, 4CQE, 5J18, NM004333, NM0013546090, 0013 Function Structure NM 139,294 NP 004324 NP 00134153 BRIF is a human gene that encodes a protein called BRIF. The gene is also referred to as proto-oncogene BRIF and VRIF murine sarcoma viral oncogene homolog B, while the protein is more formally known as serine-slash-threonine protein kinase BRIF. The BRIF protein is involved in sending signals inside cells which are involved in directing cell growth. In 2002, it was shown to be faulty in some human cancers. CR1 Certain other inherited BRIF mutations cause birth defects. Drugs that treat cancers driven by BRIF mutations have been developed. Two of these drugs, Vemurafenib and Dabrafenib are approved by FDA for treatment of late-stage melanoma. Vemurafenib was the first drug to come out of fragment-based drug discovery. CR2 BRIF is a member of the RIF kinase family of growth signal transduction protein kinases. This protein plays a role in regulating the MAP kinase slash ERKS signaling pathway, which affects cell division, differentiation, and secretion. BRIF is a 766 amino acid, regulated signal transduction serine slash threonine specific protein kinase. Broadly speaking, it is composed of three conserved domains characteristic of the RIF kinase family conserved region 1, a RIS, GTP binding self regulatory domain, conserved region 2, a serine rich hinge region and conserved region 3, a catalytic protein kinase domain that phosphorylates a consensus sequence on protein substrates. In its active conformation, BRIF forms dimers via hydrogen bonding and electrostatic interactions of its kinase domains. Conserved region 1 auto inhibits BRAF's kinase domain so that BRAF signaling is regulated rather than constitutive. Residues 155 to 27 make up the RAS binding domain, which binds to RAS GTP effector domain to release CR1 and halt kinase inhibition. 
Residues 234-280 comprise a forbal ester slash dag binding zinc finger motif that participates in BRAF membrane docking after RAS binding. CR3 Conserved Region 2 provides a flexible linker that connects CR1 and CR3 and acts as a hinge. Subregions Conserved Region 3 Residues 457717, makes up BRAF's enzymatic kinase domain. This largely conserved structure is bilobal, connected by a short hinge region. The smaller N lobe is primarily responsible for ADP binding while the larger C lobe binds substrate proteins. The active site is the cleft between the two lobes and the catalytic ASP 576 residue is located on the C-lobe, facing the inside of this cleft. Enzymology P-lube The P-loop of BRAF stabilizes the non-transferable phosphate groups of ADP during enzyme ADP binding. Specifically, S467, F468, and G469 backbone amides hydrogen bond to the beta phosphate of ADP to anchor the molecule. BRAF functional motifs have been determined by analyzing the homology of PKA analyzed by Hanks and Hunter to the BRAF kinase domain. Activation Nucleotide binding pocket V471, C532, W531, T529, L514, and A481 form a hydrophobic pocket within which the adenine of ADP is anchored through van der Waals attractions upon ADP binding. Catalytic loop Residues 574-581 compose a section of the kinase domain responsible for supporting the transfer of the gamma phosphate of ADP to BRAF's protein substrate. In particular, D576 acts as a proton acceptor to activate the nucleophilic hydroxyl oxygen on substrate serine or threonine residues allowing the phosphate transfer reaction to occur mediated by base catalysis. DFG motif Relieving CR1 autoinhibition D594, F595, and G596 compose a motif central to BRAF's function in both its inactive and active state. In the inactive state, F595 occupies the nucleotide binding pocket, prohibiting ADP from entering and decreasing the likelihood of enzyme catalysis. In the active state, D594 chelates the divalent magnesium cation that stabilizes the beta and gamma phosphate groups of ADP, orienting the gamma phosphate for transfer. CR3 Domain Activation Activation loop AKT1, CRAF, HRAS, and IWAB Residues 596600 form strong hydrophobic interactions with the P-loop in the inactive conformation of the kinase, locking the kinase in its inactive state until the activation loop is phosphorylated, destabilizing these interactions with the presence of negative charge. This triggers the shift to the active state of the kinase. Specifically, L597 and V600 of the activation loop interact with G466, F468 and V471 of the P-loop to keep the kinase domain inactive until it is phosphorylated. BRAF is a serine-slash-threonine-specific protein kinase. As such, it catalyzes the phosphorylation of serine and threonine residues in a consensus sequence on target proteins by ADP, yielding ADP and a phosphorylated protein as products. Since it is a highly regulated signal transduction kinase, 
BRIF must first bind RIS, GTP before becoming active as an enzyme. Once BRIF is activated, a conserved protein kinase catalytic core phosphorylates protein substrates by promoting the nucleophilic attack of the activated substrate serine or threonine hydroxyl oxygen atom on the gamma phosphate group of ADP through bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. The kinase domain of human RIF kinases is inhibited by two mechanisms, autoinhibition by its own regulatory RIS. GTP binding CR1 domain and a lack of post-translational phosphorylation of key serine and tyrosine residues in the CR2 hinge region. During BRIF activation, the protein's auto-inhibitory CR1 domain first binds RIS GTP's effector domain to the CR1 RIS binding domain to release the kinase CR3 domain like other members of the human RIF kinase family. The CR1 RIS interaction is later strengthened through the binding of the cysteine rich subdomain of CR1 to RIS and membrane phospholipids. Unlike ARIF and CRIF, which must be phosphorylated on hydroxyl containing CR2 residues before fully releasing CR1 to become active, BRIF is constitutively phosphorylated on CR2S445. This allows the negatively charged phosphoserine to immediately repel CR1 through steric and electrostatic interactions once the regulatory domain is unbound, freeing the CR3 kinase domain to interact with substrate proteins. Mechanism of Catalysis ADP Binding Phosphorylation Inhibitors after the auto-inhibitory CR1 regulatory domain is released, BRAF CR3 kinase domain must change to its ADP binding active conformer before it can catalyze protein phosphorylation. In the inactive conformation, F595 of the DFG motif blocks the hydrophobic adenine binding pocket while activation loop residues form hydrophobic interactions with the P-loop stopping ADP from accessing its binding site. When the activation loop is phosphorylated, the negative charge of the phosphate is unstable in the hydrophobic environment of the P-loop. As a result, the activation loop changes conformation, stretching out across the C-lobe of the kinase domain. In this process, it forms stabilizing beta sheet interactions with the beta 6 strand. Meanwhile, the phosphorylated residue approaches K507, forming a stabilizing salt bridge to lock the activation loop into place. The DFG motif changes conformation with the activation loop, causing F595 to move out of the adenine nucleotide binding site and into a hydrophobic pocket bordered by the alpha C and alpha E helices. Together, DFG and activation loop movement upon phosphorylation open the ADP binding site. Since all other substrate binding and catalytic domains are already in place, Phosphorylation of the activation loop alone activates BRAF's kinase domain through a chain reaction that essentially removes a lid from an otherwise prepared active site. To effectively catalyze protein phosphorylation via the bimolecular substitution of serine and threonine residues with ADP as a leaving group, BRAF must first bind ADP and then stabilize the transition state as the gamma phosphate of ADP is transferred. BRAF binds ADP by anchoring the adenine nucleotide in a nonpolar pocket and orienting the molecule through hydrogen bonding and electrostatic interactions with phosphate groups. In addition to the P-loop and DFG motif phosphate binding described above, K483 and E501 play key roles in stabilizing non-transferable phosphate groups. 
the positive charge on the primary amine of K4A3 allows it to stabilize the negative charge on ADP alpha and beta phosphate groups when ADP binds. When ADP is not present, the negative charge of the E501 carboxyl group balances this charge. Once ADP is bound to the BRAF kinase domain, D576 of the catalytic loop activates a substrate hydroxyl group, increasing its nucleophilicity to kinetically drive the phosphorylation reaction while other catalytic loop residues stabilize the transition state. N581 chelates the divalent magnesium cation associated with ADP to help orient the molecule for optimal substitution. K578 neutralizes the negative charge on the gamma phosphate group of ADP so that the activated sear thr substrate residue won't experience as much electron-electron repulsion when attacking the phosphate. After the phosphate group is transferred, ADP and the new phosphoprotein are released. Since constitutively active BRAF mutants commonly cause cancer by excessively signaling cells to grow, inhibitors of BRAF have been developed for both the inactive and active conformations of the kinase domain as cancer therapeutic candidates. B43-9006 is a V600E mutant BRAF and CRAF inhibitor approved by the FDA for the treatment of primary liver and kidney cancer. B43-9006 disables the BRAF kinase domain by locking the enzyme in its inactive form. The inhibitor accomplishes this by blocking the ADP binding pocket through high affinity for the kinase domain. It then binds key activation loop and DFG motif residues to stop the movement of the activation loop and DFG motif to the active conformation. Finally, a trifluoromethylphenyl moiety sterically blocks the DFG motif and activation loop active conformation site making it impossible for the kinase domain to shift conformation to become active. The distal pyridyl ring of Bay 43-9006 anchors in the hydrophobic nucleotide binding pocket of the kinase N lobe, interacting with W531, F583 and F595. The hydrophobic interactions with catalytic loop F583 and DFG motif F595 stabilize the inactive conformation of these structures, decreasing the likelihood of enzyme activation. Further hydrophobic interaction of K483, L514, and T529 with the center phenyl ring increase the affinity of the kinase domain for the inhibitor. Hydrophobic interaction of F595 with the center ring as well decreases the energetic favorability of a DFG conformation switch further. Finally, polar interactions of Bay 43-9006 with the kinase domain continue this trend of increasing enzyme affinity for the inhibitor and stabilizing DFG residues in the inactive conformation. E501 and C532 hydrogen bond the urea and pyridyl groups of the inhibitor respectively while the urea carbonyl accepts a hydrogen bond from D594S backbone amide nitrogen to lock the DFG motif in place. Sorafenib The trifluoromethylphenyl moiety cements the thermodynamic favorability of the inactive conformation when the kinase domain is bound to Bay 43-9006 by sterically blocking the hydrophobic pocket between the alpha C and alpha E helices that the DFG motif and activation loop would inhabit upon shifting to their locations in the active conformation of the protein. PLX4032 is a V600 mutant BRAF inhibitor approved by the FDA for the treatment of late-stage melanoma. Unlike Bay 43-9006, which inhibits the inactive form of the kinase domain, Vemurafenib inhibits the active DFG in form of the kinase, 
firmly anchoring itself in the ADP binding site. By inhibiting only the active form of the kinase, vemurafenib selectively inhibits the proliferation of cells with unregulated BRAF, normally those that cause cancer. Since vemurafenib only differs from its precursor, PLX4720, in a phenyl ring added for pharmacokinetic reasons, PLX4720S mode of action is equivalent to vemurafenib's. PLX4720 has good affinity for the ADP binding site partially because its anchor region, a 7 aza indole bicyclic, only differs from the natural adenine that occupies the site in two places where nitrogen atoms have been replaced by carbon. This enables strong intermolecular interactions like N7 hydrogen bonding to C532 and N1 hydrogen bonding to Q530 to be preserved. Excellent fit within the ADP binding hydrophobic pocket increases binding affinity as well. Ketone linker hydrogen bonding to water and difluorophenyl fit in a second hydrophobic pocket contribute to the exceptionally high binding affinity overall. Selective binding to active RAF is accomplished by the terminal propyl group that binds to a RAF selective pocket created by a shift of the alpha C helix. Selectivity for the active conformation of the kinase is further increased by a pH-sensitive deprotonated sulfonamide group that is stabilized by hydrogen bonding with the backbone peptide NH of D594 in the active state. In the inactive state, the inhibitor's sulfonamide group interacts with the backbone carbonyl of that residue instead, creating repulsion. Thus, Vemurafenib binds preferentially to the active state of BRAF's kinase domain. Vemurafenib Clinical Significance Mutants Mutations in the BRAF gene can cause disease in two ways. First, mutations can be inherited and cause birth defects. Second, Mutations can appear later in life and cause cancer, as an oncogene. Inherited mutations in this gene cause cardiofaciocutaneous syndrome, a disease characterized by heart defects, mental retardation, and a distinctive facial appearance. Mutations in this gene have been found in cancers, including non Hodgkin lymphoma, colorectal cancer malignant melanoma, papillary thyroid carcinoma, non-small cell lung carcinoma, adenocarcinoma of the lung, brain tumors including glioblastoma and pilocytic astrocytomas as well as inflammatory diseases like Erdame Chester disease. The V600E mutation of the BRAF gene has been associated with hairy cell leukemia in numerous studies and has been suggested for use in screening for Lynch syndrome to reduce the number of patients undergoing unnecessary MLH1 sequencing. More than 30 mutations of the BRAF gene associated with human cancers have been identified. The frequency of BRAF mutations varies widely in human cancers, from more than 80% in melanomas and nevi, to as little as 0.18% in other tumors, such as 1-3% in lung cancers and 5% in colorectal cancer. In 90% of the cases, thymine is substituted with adenine at nucleotide 1799. This leads to valine being substituted for biglutamate at codon 600 in the activation segment that has been found in human cancers. This mutation has been widely observed in papillary thyroid carcinoma, colorectal cancer, melanoma, and non-small cell lung cancer. BRAFV600E mutation are present in 57% of longer Hans cell histiocytosis patients. The V600E mutation is a likely driver mutation in 100% of cases of hairy cell leukemia. 
high frequency of BRAFV600E mutations have been detected in ameloblastoma, a benign but locally infiltrative odontogenic neoplasm. The V600E mutation may also be linked, as a single driver mutation to certain cases of papillary craniopharyngioma development. BRAFV600E Other mutations which have been found are R461I, I462S, G463, G463V, G465A, G465E, G465V, G468A, G468E, N580S, E585K, D593V, F594L, G595R, L596V, T598I, V599D, V599E, V599K, V599R, V600K, A727V, etc. And most of these mutations are clustered to two regions the glycine-rich p-loop of the n-lobe and the activation segment and flanking regions. These mutations change the activation segment from inactive state to active state, for example in the previous cited paper it has been reported that the aliphatic side chain of VAL599 interacts with the phenyl ring of PHE467 in the p-loop. Replacing the medium-sized hydrophobic valve side chain with a larger and charged residue as found in human cancer would be expected to destabilize the interactions that maintain the DFG motif in an inactive conformation, so flipping the activation segment into the active position. Depending on the type of mutation the kinase activity towards MEK may also vary. Most of the mutants stimulate enhanced BRAF kinase activity toward MEK. However, a few mutants act through a different mechanism because although their activity toward MEK is reduced, they adopt a conformation that activates wild-type CRAF, which then signals to ERK. As mentioned above, some pharmaceutical firms are developing specific inhibitors of mutated BRAF protein for anti-cancer use because BRAF is a well-understood, high-yield target. Vemurafenib was licensed by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as Zelborov for the treatment of metastatic melanoma in August 2011 based on Phase 3 clinical data. Improved survival was seen as well as a response rate to treatment of 53%, compared to from 7 to 12% with the former best chemotherapeutic treatment, dacarbazine. In clinical trials, BRAF increased metastatic melanoma patient chance of survival. In spite of the drug's high efficacy, 20% of tumors still develop resistance to the treatment. In mice, 20% of tumors become resistant after 56 days. While the mechanisms of this resistance are still disputed, some hypotheses include the overexpression of BRAF to compensate for high concentrations of vemurafenib and upstream upregulation of growth signaling. More general BRAF inhibitors include GDC0879, PLX4720, Sorafenib tozilate, Dabrafenib, LGX818. BRAF has been shown to interact with. This article incorporates public domain material from the U.S. National Cancer Institute document Dictionary of Cancer Terms. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. BRAF inhibitors Interactions